So I got to the hospital, I thinking that everything is all set. So I arrived here, they're asking me to sign a lot of papers and I asked them if everything has been confirmed by the insurance. So since there's a language barrier, they had to call a translator. Every hospital, international hospital has that. So the guy, the translator was explaining to me that it's not confirmed yet by the insurance. So I panicked. It was really stressful. So I went to see the doctor to discuss the operation. And it's the same thing that what he told me before, but I said, I'm only going to do this if the insurance has confirmed to cover my operation. So they had to take some calls. So he did a lot of things. Eventually, the insurance confirmed. So it's still a go. I thought this is going to be a stressful day, but okay, I'm relaxed now. So I had to take a COVID test first. I think it's, it's one of the requirements now. It's my first time to take a swab test. That feeling that when they put that in your nose. Yeah. Now, so I think I'm ready. So they're still preparing my room. No room available yet. So they put me in here. In just one of the treatment rooms here on the urology floor. So I think I'm just gonna wait until 4.30. The guy said it's moved to 5.30, so I really don't know. Not really happy, 100% happy with how things are being conducted or how I'm being treated, but I don't wanna stress on it. Hubby's still not here. <music> How are you? A few minutes later. Good luck on your operation. Thank you. That's the operating room. So this is Maki's room for later after his operation. Dito agad siya. Ito yung itsura ng room niya. And up here there's the microwave hindi to masyadong malaki na part of it ngayon unlike before and this is the view just an update and here at the operating room area so waiting it's been like four hours already so start of sabi ng nurses instead na pang may kukuli lang sa ayos nila I'm not sure, but they open the door so I don't know how to open the So, let's see what's gonna happen. I saw that there's a status here on the TV and there's no status here. So, I'm just waiting for the best. Hello, Mr. Nurse. Hello, Mr. Nurse. Hello, Mr. Nurse. Just an update. It's been like six hours already. We are still finished with the operation. So, ngayon wala pa po alam kung ano mayayari kasi hindi ako sinasabihan ng nurse. Maghihintay na lang muna ako. And then, so, I'll talk. My work pa po tomorrow. So, that's it for now. Just an update. So, after 6 hours and 30 minutes, finally, nandito na siya sa room. Ka-oxygen shower daw. Sana magiging okay na. Ito daw yung sample ng mga stones na nakuha sa kanya. Here. So, sample lang daw to. Hindi daw to lahat talaga yung nakuha. Parang siguro baka nadurog na yung iba talaga. So, ito lang yung para lang makita may natanggal talaga sa kanya. I don't have a voice. I was told that my throat will get dry with the general anesthesia. So everything went well yesterday. It was a long operation, two operations, like what was discussed by the doctor, 
first operation is to attempt to get the stone using the tool and if they can't get it that's why they will proceed with the open surgery in which that was the case they can't reach it because it's too high and it's stuck on the urethral wall so they did an open surgery it started at 5 p.m. and finished 11.30 I mean, I was brought back to my room at 11.30 p.m. The doctor just visited also to explain what happened and what will happen. Looks like I'll be here for five days. I also saw Habi took a photo of the cut on my side. It's really big. A little sad on that. It's gonna be forever there. But that's okay. Habi went to work now. I'm alone. The nurses are taking care of me. He has to work, so he'll be back. So probably I'll just take a sleep when I wake up. He's here already. I'll keep you updated. This is my lunch. Just liquid, nothing else. It's 4 15 p.m. Still painful. Still hard to move. And I have a catheter. The one that create but I think this time I like it because it's hard to move and it would be difficult to go to the toilet so it's helping me a lot so I have a renewed love with catheter oxygen is normal no fever but the temperature is at 38 but the doctor said it's normal I can't eat solid food I can only eat soup requested for a pain reliever because I wanted to try to sit because tomorrow they will remove the catheter and I have to really move by myself so I have to start pushing myself even though it's so painful so we'll give it a try I was here already that's an update for now It's the end of day three. I still don't have a goal. It's still hard to do. It's still painful. It's still hard to move. I've been trying to stand up, walk around. But I need to be pushed in order for me to be able to stand up. I can't do it alone. It's so difficult. A little longer than a few minutes later. Finally, nakaligo na. Nakapag, I mean, nakapag shower na yung buko. Only. Tinungan ako ni Abby. And guess what? Kulay orange na ulit siya. Good morning, it is day 5. can't believe it's been 5 days already. The improvement and the progress is doing well. According to the doctor, I can be discharged today. I don't know if that's a good news to me because it's still hard for me to lift myself up from the bed. I still need hubby to push me a little bit. Although it has improved, just a little push now. Unlike the other days, you just... He really has to push me hard. It's still difficult for me to do it by myself. And that's my worry because at home, we don't have 
that kind of bed where you can adjust the elevation to make it easier for you to stand up or get up. can sleep last night thinking how to make it easy for me at home. Even just thinking about how to go home, how to get into the car. Because on the, on the middle part of your body, it's not actually on the womb, but on the middle part of your stomach, that's where maybe the tissue is damaged. That's why when it's pulled, it's so painful. So I don't know how to get into a car later to go home. So that's my worry today. I think I'll be discharged by 3 p.m. I'll just wait for Habi to come back from work. They want me to come back tomorrow to, to change the dressing of my wound. And that's it. No need to see the doctor or just go to the emergency room. Should I just stay for one more night so that I don't need to come back because it's so difficult. And then I, on Monday, I have to come back again so the doctor would be the one to change the dressing and see how things are improving. And according to him on Thursday, if things get better, he will remove the staples. In terms of food, no restriction, no physical movement, no exercise. Last night, like two of my friends came to visit. I was happy to see them, but my energy was so low last night. I think I will update you when we do our checkout later. Here's the view from my room. Royal Thai Army Radio and Television Station on the right, and then there's a lake there. And you can see the sky train. BTS looks nice no still doing exercise regular walking so that I can program my body I'm starting to reply to some of the messages from work I don't have my laptop so I can't reply to my emails yet it's hard on the phone I swear I'm so excited to come back to work but I know it will take time uh, I hope this is my last visit in this hospital three different operations for one reasons this is so unbelievable and memorable i will never forget this hospital i will never forget my doctor and this experience i will never forget this i really like this pain management board of the hospital it's in my room so they said that pain management is always our goal maybe i should the pain management in in our house too because hubby really needs to apply that he never really cares he's like a strict mother like, get up get up stand up stand up push it he's like that it's also funny one of the nurses she's like the female version of hubby but every time i see her coming in the room and every time i look at what she brings and if i if i see that she's going to clean me up that's where i get scared because she will be like get up get up get up like no care at all <laughs> like no tender love in care like get up like she she do it like the happy way you know that there's care <laughs> actually <laughs> but just the, the way they deliver it get up get up turn 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 you know just with that with that kind of tone so you're like forced to force yourself even if it's painful yeah like there's no pain management with her <laughs> but it's okay she she's pushing me and this kind of people pushes me to be better so it's 11 i'm still waiting for hubby to come back he said he'll be here by lunch I don't get much visit anymore from the nurses, so it seems like I'll be discharged today. It's 2 50, 10 minutes before we go back home. By bed. Look what he's doing. Candy crush. What? So we're still here. I got all the test results. I got all the medicines. That's a lot. So hubby is, is buying some gauze, gauze, what? gauze, and betadine and other cleaning materials because he will just clean my wound every day. Because I don't understand why they want me to go here every day just to clean the wound. Not to see the doctor, but just go to the ER. Uh, 
change the dressing. And then go back home, can they understand how difficult it is to move and for me to travel by myself with an open wound here every day? Crazy. And we'll just clean it at our house. Once hubby's back, we'll go home. It's time to leave the hospital I, after five days. Going home. Bye, room 1021. First things first, one division. I decided to go to Apple Store to buy a new laptop. Uh, we got me a wheelchair, so it's easier for me to go to the store. The challenge in having a wheelchair is to look for elevators. We tried all stores, but there's none, so we found one here. So I'm still thinking if it's going to be rose gold or the space gray. Thank you. 